Good morning folks. So we are into winter. Although lately the weather has not been able to make up its mind. Over the last couple of weeks we've yo-yoed between plus 5 and minus 20. Sometimes changing overnight. So it's been really crazy in regards to the weather. Thankfully we have a good cover of snow. Good morning Lene. Good morning. What you doing? Getting water for the cow. Getting water for the cow so that she can give us milk. Breakfast is cleaned up and lots of people are migrating outside to take care of all of their individual animals and chores. So we're going to show you that today. So hope you stick around and enjoy. There's the moon. And it's up while the sun's coming up. We'd be very interested to hear what the weather is like in your area, wherever you're at. And if it has been consistent, or if it also cannot make up its mind. So while Lene is going out to do the cow, I'm gonna take you over to see my fluffy friends. Good morning! Hello, hello! How are you guys doing? They're all sold, but uh, they all haven't gone to their new homes yet. But that will happen by Sunday. The last one will go on Sunday. Come down! Come, Come up the hill! Let's look at the sunrise! Good puppies! Look at you come! Look at the beautiful sunrise! Something really special about these puppies is they didn't eat puppy kibble until they were seven weeks old. We had them on moose meat and goat milk and our own carrots and some grains. So dog food that we made ourselves and they are perfectly healthy. But to make the adjustment of them going to their new homes easier, um, I started them on some puppy kibble last week. So that way it's easier for you to adjust to your new families. Simon's been having a lot of fun. You can probably see the trails of all the snowboards and the tubes that have been riding down this hill. Something really awesome is uh, Charles makes custom leather dog collars. Puppy size or adult size. They're awesome, awesome collars. And they last a long time. They have stainless steel hardware. So it's not the cheap stuff that you get at an ordinary pet shop. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Come on, come on, come on! Here we go! Hey Joey. Hey Bo. How are you guys this morning? Charles and Julia are training them to pull as a team. You can see their uh, pulling sled there, which they made. Not the donkeys. <laughs> Julia and Charles. Here is our wood situation. So. That is full of wood. That is full of wood. We are filling that up with wood and we're going to fill this up with wood. So we are blessed with a ton of firewood to keep our stoves going all winter. Stay nice and toasty warm, which you need up here in the north. If you would like to go for a ride in this big beast, this military truck, then be sure to check the video up there. I'm sure you'll enjoy it if you like trucks. <laughs> it looks like uh what's that puppy? Come on Sasha, look at you go, look at you go. You're such a good girl. I love you. You too, Rosette. Uh, it appears that I missed Janessa's chicken chores. But it looks like Lene hasn't milked the cow yet. So we're in time for that. Oh, there's Janessa's little guy. He still does not have a name, so we just call him the little guy. Hey, buddy! Oh, you don't know what to think, Rosette! It's okay! It's okay, Rosette! Oh, oh. She's controlling him by hanging on to the, his hair neck. His neck hair. <laughs> And Sarah and Julia 
are getting the nannies in to get them bread. So they're just selecting the nannies they want bread for next year, so. Hey buddy, get out of the way. You blocked the path. If you haven't seen the video of how to milk a kicking cow, you should go check that out. Here comes Bagheera. He's always lurking around doors trying to get in the house and the shop. Yeah, make sure you go check out that kicking cow video. <laughs> Especially if you have a kicking cow. Right? Yeah. She's um, improved in her attitude, has she? Oh. Yeah. She's improved a lot. She like hasn't done that to me for a long time. It's just because I'm here with the camera. She's annoyed this morning, though. Now you sing your song and make her let milk come down. Let it down, let it down, let it down. <laughs> I weaned Duke officially about a week ago. And prior to that, we were calf sharing. We were probably getting a cream line of about that on a gallon. And then when I took him off, after she settled into the fact that he's now gone, um, we had a cream line of barely over half a gallon. She was holding a lot up. <laughs> A lot of cream. It's strange how cows can hold their cream up. But yeah. maybe Bagheera. Do you give Bagheera any milk when I? No, I don't give any of the cats milk. They're so fat. Well, we're back here at the wood pile, and we got to get to work. So I'm gonna say tally ho for now. Thanks for sticking around this morning. And hope you enjoyed the little farm tour. Go check out those other videos we mentioned. And if you haven't already, go check out our family music channel. It's called Beagle Family Music. And uh, if you enjoy music of all different styles, then you probably will enjoy some of that. Other than that, we shall see you next week. God willing, have a good and blessed week, friends.